I'm here with Jim Cramer, who wrote a lot about what happened with the Fed yesterday on Real Money. And Jim, you actually said there were a number of reasons why the Fed decided to change its outlook. Right. One of them was more of a deflationary risk. Well, look, I think that one of the things they realized is that even with great job growth, the uh, wage growth didn't go up. Um, what they did, I think, is they netted out the uh, uh, minimum wage. Minimum wage game. And look, the fact that you have to have minimum wage mandated is a sign that there's wage deflation, not wage inflation. If you back that out, you'd see that there was wage deflation this, this quarter. And I think they're very concerned. I think they're looking at the election. The election is about wage deflation uh, and globalization tied into wage deflation. The people are no longer being fooled by globalization. And you also tie that in with the digital economy, which you think is playing into it as well. Yeah, Matt Horwey, my writing colleague, did an unbelievably good piece about globalization and global warming. You and I go back and forth on this and recognize that the economy is really an economy that takes out people. I mean, the whole idea of digitization, digitization, digitization is code, and it code for fire people. And, 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 you know, like digitization, globalization, these are code for fire Americans. And, you know, look, if you're a rapacious capitalist and of the John Russell 1847 variety, you've got to love this stuff. But if you have any heart, uh, unlike the people, by the way, who are attacking Oscar Munoz, who just got back from uh, Continental, uh, if you have heart, then you have to con be concerned. I mean, these are people who may live next door to you, or maybe they may be you. And I care about it. Uh, it's not bleeding heart. That's both parties. All right, Jim, let's bring this back to stocks. We saw a good rally yesterday after the announcement. It is a green light for the stock market to climb steadily higher. Well, remember, there's roving bulls and roving bears. It's a bear market for financials because they needed higher rates. There's a bear market in health care because the presidential candidates are taking aim. There's a, a bull market in where the numbers are being cut. Caterpillar numbers get cut. The stock you know, it goes down, then comes back. Uh, a bull market in all industrials because they do a huge amount of business overseas, and this is really going to cause uh, the top in the dollar's been seen. First against the peso, now, uh, first against the euro, soon it'll be the peso. Uh, I actually want to buy the Mexican peso, I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> at, at, at peak versus the yen, uh, and that's fantastic for the industrials, and it's also fantastic for the techs. It's one of the reasons why I like Alphabet so much, I just like Microsoft very much, I just like you should like um, uh, an Eaton very much, a Parker Hannafin, I, you know, I, those are ones, uh, Cisco. These are all big beneficiaries of a weaker dollar. Jim Cramer oh, Let me just say one, yeah, more. one more, even IBM. Wow, did you it. just say yeah, IBM? I said it, IBM. Wow, that mm -hmm. is the first time I've heard that in a while. I know. How do you like I, that? Like ever. Yep. Wow. Jim Kramer with the latest from the NYSC. I'm Rhonda Schaffner for The Street.